Go back, slide rule fans. The log log scales are an interesting set of scales that allow you to compute arbitrary exponents and logs um, and solve all sorts of interesting problems uh, involving exponential functions. And the log log scales were interestingly invented by the same guy that in first wrote Roget's Thesaurus. Go look that up. Um, let's look at the the log log scales for positive base first. These are the ones without the zero. Uh, so they're the ones down here, LL3, 2, and 1, which is on the reverse of this slide rule. These really form one nice long scale, which could be continued in either direction. Um, sometimes you'll see a LL0 uh, continuation in that direction on slide rules with lots of logs. Um, okay, the idea is these are one long scale. See here, 0 0.01 up through 1.1, uh, and then about 1.1 up through E and then e through e to the 10 on this end, uh, right before e to the 10, this tick mark uh, represents 20,000. Okay, if you read from the LL scale to the D scale, you read a natural log, and if you read from the D scale to the log log scale, uh, you compute e to the x, the natural exponential. Um, you've got to remember that that x in both cases uh, falls in the appropriate range, okay, 0.01 to 0.1, LL1, 0.1 to 1, LL2, 1 to 10, LL3. Um, these are marked for you on this K and E rule. Okay, um, now the nice thing is, okay, so here, I want to find um, E to the 2.5. I simply find 2.5 on the D scale, read the result 12.2, right? So here, 2.5 is here, should be reading log log 3, 12.2. You want to find e to the 0 0.4, you find the 4 on the d scale, uh, but 0 0.4 is in this, this range, so you should read log log 2. So log log 2 has the result there, 1.49. Okay? Um, now you can compute arbitrary exponentials by doing the following thing. So let's find 3.5, the base, on log log 3. You would find the base uh, wherever you see it on your log log scale. Then I'm going to align the index, the left index of the C scale. Then I'm going to go out to 2.5 on the C scale and then read the result there on the LL3 scale, 23. Okay, now how does this work? Well, essentially, when you go from log log 3 to the D scale, you've computed a natural log. So you're reading the log on the D scale. You multiply the log by 2.5 by going out to 2.5 from the index. Um, and then you undo that, computing an exponential uh, by reading back down to the LL3 scale. So essentially you do a change of base by doing that, right? And then you change back. Um, but in log land, you do a multiplication, right? So Roger's idea was that in log land, you do the multiplication on the C and D scale uh, to, to compute an arbitrary power. Okay. Um, you can do this in reverse to compute a logarithm. So let's Let's find base 5 here. I want to compute log with base 5 of 30. So I'll find base 5. Um, I'm going to align in the same way the left index of the C scale. And then, so the question is, what power should I put on 5 to get 30? So let's find 30 on the log log 3 scale there. Um, well, it, looking at the C scale, it turns out the power I should put on 5 to get 30 is about 2.11. So see, I found 5 here. Then I multiplied the log to something, right, until I got to 30 on the LL3 scale, and then I read that something was 2.11. Okay, um, before I talk about the, the inverted log, log scales, uh, let's do this arbitrary uh, radical here. So here is the fifth root of 8. How could I compute the fifth root of 8? Well, uh, let's find 8, the base, on log log 3. Then uh, I essentially want to move backwards, right? So something over here on the log 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 scale to power 5, I want that to get me the 8. So it looks like I'm doing division, right? Because that's essentially what I'm doing to the logarithm. Now the question is, where is that? Well, that's over here. But over here, remember, attached to the log log 3 scale on this side is the log log 2 scale. So I should be reading down at the log log 2 scale. Uh, and you see the result there on log log 2. I'm sorry, the result here on log log 2 is 1.52, okay? Um, if you were to just jump log log 3 to log log 2 or vice versa, that's a, that's a power of 10 exponent jump, right?
Okay. Now, uh, let's look at the ones which are marked with a zero there. Okay, these are for bases between uh, zero and one, right? So essentially exponential decay, you can see at the end here, instead of exponential growth, and this scale uh, has numbers reading backwards. Okay, so if I want to raise 0 0.2 to the 3.1, I find the 0 0.2. But I proceed in the same way. I align the left index of the C scale with the base, and then I go along the C scale to the exponent that I want. Here's 3, uh, 3 here, 3.1 here. And then I read the result uh, up here on LL3, so there's 0 0.005, 0 0.006, and I read that as point zero zero six eight before. Okay. Uh, here's here's an interesting thing. Power fifteen. How would I do that? Well, let's find uh, point eight. That's on LL zero two up there at the top. Um, now, if I jump down exactly down to LL zero three, that's exponent ten, right? So here's the idea. If I align the index. Moving along the LL3 scale all the way to the end, right, which is really uh, where the cursor is on the LL03 scale, is reading out to exponent 10. Okay, what do I want to do to get to exponent 15? Well, now I now I'm in right now I'm in the next order of magnitude on the C scale, so 15 is really 1.5. So right here, this is really 10. So I just need to go out to here to the 15. Okay. Um, then I read the result on LL03. Um, let's see. I have 0 0.01 here, so 0 0.02, 0 0.03, right in the middle, 0 0.035. Okay? So you use LL0 for bases between 0 and 1. Interesting thing is, right, what these things do is they compute e to the minus x, right? If LL uh, something here computes e to the x, LL0 something computes e to the minus x. So the interesting thing is with respect to each other they compute reciprocals. So you could find a number, let's say 0 0.07, uh, here's 0 0.0567, you could find a number on one of the log-log scales and then on the corresponding one uh, without the zero here, right, you read its reciprocal. So the number I found was on LL03, so reciprocal should be reading on LL3, and it's 14.2. Okay, so it computes a reciprocal with a decimal point uh, between these two scales. Okay, as a final application, I will solve this half-life problem. Carbon-14 is a half-life of 5,700 years. Uh, a wooden artifact has 1.2% of its original carbon-14. How many years ago was it made? Okay, so we know the carbon-14 will decay exponentially, or at least that's our assumption. Um, let's see how the slide rule could do a very fast solution of this. Uh, so what I'm going to do up here, this is exponential decay, so I'll use the log log O scales. I'm going to find 0 0.5 up on log log 2. Then I'm going to align that on the C scale with 5.7. So, so that 5.7 is for the 5,700 uh, years, so I'm going to solve, solve this in thousands of years. Uh, then, what I'm going to do is move the cursor here to 0 0.012, that's for 1.2%, and then I'm going to read the result. <laughs> okay, here, 356364. Um, which is going to mean 36.4 thousand years ago the artifact was made. Okay, 36.4 thousand years ago. Um, now, how did that work? That was very fast, right? Um, well, it turns out you're, if you want to solve an exponential growth or decay problem on the slide rule, you want to use uh, this formulation of exponential growth or decay, uh, or a formulation where you have an A here, uh, initial value or something. Um, instead of kind of this more modern, popular uh, y equals e to the kx, uh, this e to the k is the same thing as the b. Um, so the first thing that I did, right, was I, I figured the base. So I set 0 0.5 here, right, as something to the 5.7. So I line the 5.7. That something is over here, right? Uh, on the LL2 scale, it's like 0.88 something. 
Okay, 2, the 5.7, is equal to 0 0.5, okay, half-life. Um, then, the second thing I did, I didn't even write down that B, though, I just left the, left the slide there. So then I want to compute, well, what exponent should I put on that B uh, to get 1.2%, or essentially computing a log is the second step, right? Uh, so what exponent should I put on that base to get 1.2%? That means all I need to do is come and find 1.2% here, right? And then read the exponent. Now, the trick was 1.2% uh, is on the next scale. It's on log log 3. So what you really did is you came all the way around, right? Coming, coming around. Um, remember, starting here. So you came all the way around. By the time you got to about here, that was exponent 10. And so then here, this is not exponent 3.64, this is exponent 36.4. Okay, so that x is 36.4. And then, of course, x, right, is in thousands of years as the way I've solved the problem. So there is a very fast solution to exponential growth and decay problems um, using the slide rule. I hope you enjoyed this exponential... Uh, <laughs> this exponential. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this explanation of the log-log scales.